What's going on everybody? It's your boy JP back again with another video and today I have well you see it the bold N2. Now for those of you that don't know or don't remember because as you can see there's no other branding on it except bold. Bold is displayed as the brand if you you know if you couldn't tell. Right there, right there, right there. Right there, your sticker even says bold. Your your little uh, quick guide says it. I mean, the case even says it. Where is it at here? See? The charger. The back of the phone, which is really nice, I might add. Bold came out in 2019 as Blue's premium sub-brand. And um, they launched with the N1, a super impressive phone, in my opinion, um, that had a pop-up selfie camera, if, if, uh, if any of y'all remember that. It was very similar to, like, the, uh, the OnePlus 7 Pro. Um, it was, you know, kind of the big thing at that time, back in 2018 and 2019. And, uh, and of course, it, it vanished uh, in favor of the punch hole. Uh, which this phone has. This phone actually has a dual punch hole because it has dual front-facing cameras. Um, but uh, and, and then it also has quad lenses in the back. I might as well knock that out of the park there really quick. Um, but um, they have kind of been on a uh, a, 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 a hiatus since then. Um, and and I think it's you know it was partly due to COVID. And you know the uh, the pandemic and everything, it just kind of slowed 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 them down. Uh, it, it slowed blue down in in general. Uh, if you remember when the N one came out, the um, blue had just released uh, their annual quote unquote flagship uh, a month before. Uh, it was the uh, the G nine Pro, and then the N one from Bold came out. And uh, you know, and then of course the next year their flagship was just the uh, the blue. G90 Pro, and then last year it was the G91 Pro, and uh, and of course this year you would think it was the F91 5G, you know, um, it it not only was their first 5G phone, but it was their most powerful phone to date with the Dimensity 810, um, and um, and back in 2019, the uh, the difference really between the N1. The bold in one and the uh, the G nine Pro was you you just had you know um, you know the the N one had a slightly more powerful processor. You got the Helio P seventy instead of the Helio P sixty, um, and of course you also had the AMOLED screen, uh, which you know in the pop up selfie, which definitely made a huge difference. And um, you know uh, you just kind of you know that that was you know that was the uh, the big the uh, the the difference between Blue's flagship and then their premium brands, you know, flagship, if you will, and uh, it's it's almost the same thing here. Uh, this uh, this actually has the same processor as the um, the uh, the F ninety one five G, so it is obviously a five G phone. Um, it's uh you know it's I, I you know I I don't know if you would say it's Bose's first five G phone. Technically, it is, but it's only their second phone that they've had since twenty nineteen. Um, and it's, it's, yeah, uh, it's, um, with, with the N2, it's really, you know, like the N1, it's really all about its, its, its departure and design from the F91 5G. Uh, you know, it had, it's an AMOLED instead of an L, instead of just an LCD. Um, and it is curved, believe it or not, curved. And, um, and it's and it's gorgeous. And, and no, and no, I'm not I'm not a fan of curved displays, as a lot of people know. It was kind of a fad that also a lot of people had grew out of. Of course, I'm not suggesting that anyone grew out of the uh, the pop up selfie. Uh, a lot of people prefer that over the hole punch, and even the uh, the hidden the in display selfie cameras because they just don't take great, you know, uh, selfies. Uh, and of course, I'm you know I am actually getting something uh, with a uh, in-display uh, selfie cam 
later on this week, on Wednesday, to be exact, maybe sooner. It is the uh, the Red Magic 7S Pro. And of course, I already had the Red Magic 7 Pro that had the in-display selfie camera. And of course, a 7S Pro doesn't advance that particular feature of, you know, from the 7 Pro. Uh, so that probably won't be anything big that I'll go over when I do a video on that phone later on this week. But um, I was actually going to hold off on doing a video on this phone for another day or two, but then something happened. And I'll go back over the specs. And I'm actually, you know what? No. Let me finish the specs. But let me zoom in on something right quick. Okay. Now, go over the specs here. I'm just going to let you do a rundown of that. Again, it has the Dimensity 710, just like the, uh, the, just like the blue uh, F91 5G uh, had that came out almost two months ago. And it's a it's a fantastic processor, by the way, if, if, if you don't know. Um, it is, if you actually benchmark it against the Snapdragon 8, 45 um it has a higher single core and um and it's it's it depends which benchmark you look you look at it actually it actually scores more points than the snapdragon 845 in everything except the graphics where the adreno definitely shows its superiority and, uh, and, and and because of that one difference and because the difference is, is so much larger in that specific you know area, the Snapdragon 845 still manages to, to, to score about the same um, you know uh, just just because it scored more in the graphics department um, and it was uh, and it was it, it was it was a big enough deficit to where it you know, it made up for all of the, you know, it made up for the differences that it lacked in all of the other benchmarks when it when it compared to the uh, the Dimensity 810, and um, and and in the graphics department, the um, the Dimensity 810 is no slouch. It, it that that in no way means that that um, you know because it scored lower than the Snapdragon 845 from a, you know from a few years ago that it's not going to be uh, capable you know capable as a gaming machine because it is. It'll play every single game that you'll throw at it. Genshin Impact, um, you know, um, you know, Call of Duty. It it, it plays them all, um, and it's just um, you you may not be able to play all of these games in the highest settings. Some of them you can, some of them you can't. It just depends. Um, but um, the the Dimensity Eight Ten, as the as the Blue F ninety one five G had already proven, uh, is a uh, is a you know is is a is a great you know mid range. You know, cheap. You know, processor. You know, if you're you know looking for something to game on, it's uh you know, um, it's um, it definitely gets the job done. You you have a lot of budget phones, or, or and, and even and even other phones that are coming out being considered mid range phones that are only coming out with the Dimensity seven hundred and seven ten. The eight ten is way better. I uh, fully went over that. Well, well, f well. I wouldn't say fully. I didn't really demonstrate anything, but I um, did talk about. I did discuss the experience I had a few, a couple years ago with the Dimensity Eight Twenty, which blew me away two years ago uh, when it was in the uh, the Xiaomi um, uh, X Ten Five G or Ten X Five G. I can't remember where the X was, but it was either X Ten or Ten X Five G, and it was a. Uh, they only had one generation of that phone. They never, they never continued it. It was actually a Redmi. It was a Redmi X10, a Redmi 10X 5G that I had in the first half of 2020 with Dimensity 820, and uh, it was, uh, it, it, it blew me away. And the 810 is just a, um, is just a, a slightly lower powered 820, but, uh, but it's, um, um, for this, for this price point, this phone, this, this phone retails right now for, well. At launch, it was two fifty when supplies lasted, but its MSRP is supposed to be three fifty. But even at three fifty, you're not gonna find a device that is as compelling as this. Will you find phones at three fifty that'll be more powerful? Yes, you will, but not by much. Um, and I'm not even just talking. I'm not even talking about Snapdragon equipped phones. Um, there's there's other phones at three fifty that have higher end dimensity chipsets. Um, because in my opinion, when it comes to budget and mid range, Dimensity chipsets are the best. Um, it's just you know you, you just get a lot more bang for your buck. 
That's just my opinion. Now, I haven't seen nor have I had any personal experience yet with anything equipped with the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. Uh, but um, but this processor, even against the uh, the Snapdragon uh, 778G, is extremely capable. Now, I also haven't had a phone with the 778G Plus chipset like what the uh, the Nothing Phone 1 has. Uh, the 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 Moto Edge, the standard Moto Edge 30, is also supposed to have well, what well, does have the 778G Plus. Uh, that phone just hasn't been released in the U.S. Uh, actually, it's supposed to be. Um, the uh, it is supposed to come out here in the U.S. The uh, the Moto Edge 2022 without the Plus, obviously. Uh, but the U.S. version is not going to be equipped with the 778G Plus. It's actually supposed to be equipped with, from what I'm hearing, with a uh, with an all new uh, MediaTek Dimensity processor, the uh, the the Dimensity 1050. Uh, from what I've heard, it may have been the 950, 950 or 1050. Uh, but um, that's uh, you know the rumor right now. But um, this processor, I mean, it, it 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 has no problem keeping up with something like the 778G. I mean, may, may, I may be going a little 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 too far with that. Maybe the 765G, you know, if we're being safe. But uh, nonetheless, um, you've already looked over those specs, and I want you to really pay attention to that um, to that thing about the uh, the display right quick. 6.6 inch full HD plus AMOLED display. Okay. Uh, Gorilla Glass 5. And um, if you also go to uh, Blue's YouTube page where they are heavily advertising this phone, someone made a comment that, uh, you know, that uh, it would have been nice if this had 90 hertz. You know, um, you know uh, and it, it, it was kind of a deal breaker to this person. Uh, understandably, I mean, I, I honestly, at this price point, I wouldn't expect at this price point with this level of design and power, I wouldn't necessarily expect it. Okay, um, you know, the Pixel 6a sells without 90 hertz. You know, a 90 hertz. Well, well, it's not enabled, anyways. I'll get to that in a second. But um, you know, the Pixel 6a sells for 450, and I'm sure it has no problem selling right now. You know, and it has a standard 60 hertz refresh rate. Um, and uh, for those of you that don't know. For those of you that don't know, um, if you actually um, if you actually uh, have been keeping up with the um, the mobile phone news lately, you'll know that the um, someone discovered that the Pixel 6a does in fact have a hidden 90 hertz refresh rate. It is a Samsung panel, and uh, it has to be hacked to get it out, unfortunately. But um, a lot of people are suggesting that. Google did it on purpose to, um, because they didn't want it to monopolize the Pixel 6 sales. And what I have to say for that is most people that were going to buy the Pixel 6 have already bought the Pixel 6, okay? Now, now when the Pixel 7 comes out, but even between now and then when the Pixel 6 gets, gets you know, discounts like it had on Amazon Prime Day, for example... Uh, you will get some people that'll that'll buy it, uh, no doubt. Uh, but I, I think the majority of people that would have bought the Pixel Six have already bought it. I did last year, um, and and I and I realize I may be an exception to that, but um, I don't think the Pixel Six A with a ninety hertz refresh rate would monopolize the Pixel Six um, because even then, even if it did come out of the box with ninety hertz. You're you're still getting a smaller screen. The Pixel 6a is 6.1 inches compared to the 6.4 inches that the uh, Pixel 6 rocks. That's a that's a pretty big difference. Um, you know, people 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 that you know this you know despite the refresh rate would spend an extra hundred and fifty dollars to get that Pixel 6s to get the Pixel 6s larger screen size alone, apart from the refresh rate. So, um, you know, but that's just my opinion. Popular, unpopular. Uh, it was just something that just hit the news, just hit the waves just a few days ago. Uh, but um, Blue, in these comments, when this guy said that, uh, you know, it, th this phone would have been would have been the sweet spot with 90 hertz and, uh, and it should have had it. And it was, you know, you know, I don't remember if the guy said it was a deal breaker for him or not. But uh, nonetheless, Blue did come back 
as they're pretty good about doing. Blue Products did come back, or, or I don't know if it, they might have a separate YouTube tag uh, where it said Bold Products. I, I don't remember if it was Bold Products or Blue Products, but nonetheless, um, the uh, the person, you know, somebody somebody from Blue jumped in and and and, and said that um, you know it's it's um they were real positive about it. I forgot exactly how they worded it, but uh, they they just simply said it's you know it's. It's on the plate. It's on the to-do list. They're they're uh, they're trying to get there. They said something along those lines. They're 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 trying to. That's next on the you know on the to-do list or something like that. You know and um and uh you know you know because it, it was something that I thought should you know the f the f ninety one you know could have had you know to make it an even more compelling device than it already was. Um you know even if it was an LCD screen. Um and uh and. Someone else, you know, that that was a few days ago. Well, today I was back on those comments, and someone made a comment about the Cherry Mobile Aqua SV. SV standing for Super Velocity. Now, anybody that is a long, that has been a long-term Blue fan, such as myself, remembers that their phones actually came from overseas Asian OEMs um, or ODMs, if you will, original device manufacturers. And um, they were notorious for it back then. That's actually part of the reason why Blue can't keep their promises and I think have stopped making promises to update the Android operating system. Okay? Um, Because they're not the ODM. They're not the ODM here. So it's really hard. And and, and I think that's... And I think that that, that that's... Because remember, the N1 had a had a big promise of uh, of OS updates, and it didn't get it until like a year, year and a half later, and it only got that one. And I think what it is is I think it's not necessarily you as a consumer getting burned, but Blue is also getting burned. Um, you know, because the ODMs aren't. It's up to the ODMs to be able to make them upgradable or updatable, have you want to say it? And um, and you know, but. That's a story that we'll save for another day because honestly, you know, yeah, this has Android 11, which is kind of weird. It should have had 12, but um, and you know, but at this price point, even at 350 more, I wouldn't expect it anyways. I really don't pay it any attention. This phone runs stock Android, not well, almost stock-ish Android. It's not the Pixel launcher, but as I've said many times, the Pixel experience isn't the original stock Android experience itself. Um, you know, this has this has a few customizations in it. Uh, it had a few apps uh, that were installed, all of which were deletable. Not just disable. Not you couldn't. You didn't. You, you, they weren't just disableable. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all can't talk straight today. <laughs> you, you. It's not that they were all deletable. You, you didn't just have to disable them. You could delete all of them, which was great. But it is a very stockish Android um, experience, and uh, as most blue phones have had the past couple of years, um, which is great. Um, honestly, at the price point, I don't pay the, uh, the exact OS any, um, you know, any, um, I, I don't pay any attention. Um, Android 10 and above, in my opinion, is great. It's compatible with everything. So, uh, you know, that's, you know, I just kind of leave it at that. Um, but, um, you know, and this is a phone that I actually will keep for a little while because I absolutely love it. Um, but, um. Anyways, without further ado, though, I do want to I do want to talk about the 90 hertz display. If you if you can't see that there, someone had mentioned that this phone was the Cherry Mobile uh, Aqua Super Velocity 5G, and so I started researching it. And that phone actually has half the storage that this comes in. It has only 120, and as you can see, this has 256, which is fantastic because there's no expandable memory, and it has uh, eight gigs of RAM. Um, the super, uh, the Cherry Mobile version may have only had six gigs as well. I don't quite remember if it was six or eight, but nonetheless, the internal storage was only 128, not 256. But that phone was advertised with a 90 hertz res- uh, uh, refresh rate, and it had this same 6.6 inch curved AMOLED panel, Full HD plus, and uh, um. And it was just, and it was the same exact phone. That's what somebody said in the comments. It was the same exact phone. And uh, so the first thing I thought of was, well, Blue just kind of pulled a Google and just, you know, and just, uh, you know, just kept the 90 hertz refresh rate hidden. 
Why would they do that? Why would somebody go in the product, go, go in the comment section, you know, and after somebody said that that was kind of a deal breaker or kind of sounded like it was a deal breaker to them and uh, blue products would jump on there and say, well, you know, it's it's on the to do list. It's, you know, it's, it's a matter of time. We're, we're, we're going to do it soon, basically, was, you know, what they said and, you know, much fewer words. But, um, you know, uh, you know, why would they, you know, it's, you know, why, why would they do all that? Keep it hidden and, and you know, whatnot. And of course. The, you know, the only answer I would have to a question like that is simply the battery life. They they may want they may want to maintain. You know, they they may put a um, a um, a higher importance uh, for the battery life more so than the display, more so than the than the refresh rate. Um, you know, and 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 honestly, people that shop at the two hundred and fifty or three hundred dollar mark, you know. Uh, maybe the 350 mark. Uh, they, um, I, you know, to, to people like that, I think uh, the battery life is a bigger priority uh, to them than the refresh rate. Um, but at the same time, I think we could all agree that 90 hertz is the perfect median for, for you know, you know, maintaining a, uh, you know, still getting a great battery life, as opposed to. 120 and then these other crazy high refresh rates like 144 and 165. Um, I think 90 hertz is 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 the median. Um, my Red Magic 7 Pro I kept at 90 hertz. My Red Magic 7 S S Pro I, I plan to keep at 90 hertz. Um, you know, um, um, even even the Red Magic 7 that actually wasn't capped at just 120 but could go up to 165 because it didn't have the in display selfie camera. Um, I generally kept that 90 or 120 sometimes, uh, you know, as opposed to, you know, as, as well as all of the other phones I've had that had, you know, adjustable refresh rates. Um, but um, but blue or bold had, you know, obviously, you know, um, you know, emphasized, the, you know, more importance to, to battery life. You know, I, I wouldn't say they just went out and did a survey, but they, you know, probably assumed that at, at, at this at the price, well, the price, the introductory price point, anyways, that battery life was more important to people, but uh, but I think that can still be maintained with just 90 hertz. It's not 120 or a, or again a crazy 144 or 165. Um, you know, and, and and I get it too because blue isn't it, it also isn't known for having the most optimized software either. Um, you know, and, and and I think they kind of acknowledge that by by not advertising this phone as having a 90 hertz refresh rate and you know because because there was somebody else in the comments later on that it had just simply asked what was the refresh rate and blue products responded with a very simple answer 60 hertz that was it they didn't have anything to follow it saying you know 90 hertz is coming in the in the future with other phones or you know possibly maybe a software update on this one but this one doesn't even need a software update for it it's it's there it is there it is i when I first read about the Cherry Mobile phone, I actually first went into the developer options to go to the show refresh rate, and it only said 60. Okay? So that was so, I was like, oh, okay, well, they just have it hidden like Google did the Pixel 6a. But then I forgot that Blue had this other little unique setting that's in all of their phones. The Actually, what I was doing, I actually stopped worrying about the refresh rate at this point. I was actually going to set up the facial recognition, which is always in the intelligence assistance. And, uh, or so I thought anyways, but as you can see, it's not. <laughs> it's actually back in the security settings. Um, and I don't quite remember where it was in their last couple of phones. The the, the F91 5G, the G91 Max. Um, those phones might have had it in the security settings as well where the fingerprint sensor settings are. But at one time, facial recognition was in their intelligent assistance menu um, at some point last year or the year before. And they're the only ones that have this little menu like this. And and I was in this yesterday because I saw the lift to wake option, which I didn't set, but I saw. It. And it's really odd because I completely skipped over high speed refresh. Just never even saw it. And you can go back. Turn it off and then go to developer options. And you can toggle the display of it. And it's back to 60. 
We'll leave it on, actually. And then I'll um, go back to the intelligence assistance and set it. And boom, there it is. 90. 90. How freaking awesome is that? They don't even advertise it. And they even tell you that it's it's coming soon in other devices, other products. Not necessarily software updates for this phone. But uh, it, it has it. It has it. I used to, I at some point, I stopped researching a year or two ago who the ODM was, you know, to specific blue devices when they would come out. I used to research it when I would get their flagships especially. Because um, they weren't always from the same company. But, uh, but, um, and, and honestly, I think the N1 was also based on a Cherry Mobile phone, I think. I vaguely remember that, um, you know, but, um, uh, you know, I've just, you know, just kind of moved on from, you know, from doing that since then. Um, but yeah, man, it's, it has, it has 90 hertz. It has 90 hertz. So, I mean, there you go. There you go. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry, but, uh, I was already sold on this phone before that. And I've made comments in other reviewers, um, other other YouTube reviewers, that I actually, you know, before I did my own here, my own overview, I uh, j- just just the design of this phone, the Dimensity 810 is 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 a fantastic mid range processor. Um, you know, it's not it's not it's not even a low end mid range processor. It, it is it is a mid range. It is a I wouldn't say it's high end, but it's higher end. I mean, you know, it's it's um I mean T Mobile and Metro just released phones that they worked that, that Google worked with them on, the Rebel 6 series, the Rebel 6 and Rebel 6 Pro, and they have Dimensity 700 chipsets. The Galaxy um well the A32 5G is probably not a great example because I think it came out last year, but that had a 700 dimensity. Um but the uh, the Moto G, five G twenty twenty two has the Dimensity seven hundred, you know, um, and that's a you know it's become a pretty popular little phone itself, and it it, it it's MSRP is four hundred. You can regularly find it for three fifty, but its MSRP is four hundred. Um, and oh yeah, for reference, it also has an in display uh, fingerprint sensor, and um, it works great. By the way, it, it works fantastic. The facial recognition works great. It can't it's kind of hard to show that on camera. Um, at, but you'd expect it to work great because it does have the dual front-facing cameras there, and uh, and and kind of give you a rundown on the um, on the camera specs there as well there, just to kind of let you see it there. But um, the selfie cam is uh, six, 16 megapixel and two megapixel, and of course the quad in the rear is um, is 64 uh, with the depth sensor, five megapixel wide angle, wide yeah wide angle. I think the macro is two or five megapixels, but um, um, but yeah, I mean it's it's uh, it, it has a um, a super pixel one hundred twenty eight mode, which which some of their phones have had yeah, have been coming out with. It's it's just a software trick, but it does have a forty two hundred milliamp battery. It does have thirty watt uh, max a uh, 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 quick charge. They call it max charge, but uh, they have this is also a, a quick charge, and it is in the box right there. It even has, um, there's your braided USB Type-C charging cable. It even has your dongle for your, um, you know, for Type-C to, to uh, the 35 millimeter headphone jack. Because this phone does not have the uh, the headphone jack. But it also comes with a pair of headphones. And those headphones are actually Type-C headphones. So you don't have to use it with those. That dongle is for your other headphones. Uh, but just cool though. There's your case with the little carbon fiber design. It's really nice actually. And it has a leather design on the back here. Some uh, some reviewers have said it's a faux leather, leather um, and some reviewers have said that it is that it is actual leather. Um, I'm leaning more towards the faux leather, but it's sweet. It is awesome. I mean, it, it, this phone feels fantastic in the hands. For what it is, it is thin. And just check out that curved display. I I, I just think that it. I'm not a fan of curved displays. But the reason why I keep going back to and how impressed I am with it on this phone is just the fact that this phone has it. I mean, just just the fact that it has it. With, you know, it's Gorilla Glass 5 at that. High refresh rate. <laughs> AMOLED. Just the, the, the... I'm just so impressed, you know. 
the only, literally the only thing on this phone that is not flagship is the processor. Everything else on this phone is flagship. 8 gigs of RAM. 256 gigs of internal memory. Um, you know, a uh, 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 full HD plus AMOLED panel. 6.6 inches. That's that. That's not small by any means. Um, you know, two. You know, two front-facing cameras. Uh, you know, pretty. You know, for what it is, a pretty decent. You know, quad uh, camera setup in the rear. Um, you know, um, I mean, the the pictures are decent. I mean, it's 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 uh, what you would expect for the price point. I mean, no, there's you're not gonna you're gonna be hard pressed to find a phone around around this price point at two fifty or three fifty that's gonna have that much better of a camera system. I mean, it's you know, um, but it's just um, you know, I mean, the AMOLED screen alone at this price point is 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 near flagship and. I'm, I'm willing to bet it's a Samsung panel. And, uh, you know, it's again, it has a, you know, fantastic, you know, full HD resolution, 90 hertz refresh rate, um, you know, and, 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 and it's curved at that. It just, um, you know, it has uh, it has quick charge, no wireless charging, unfortunately. But um, it's just, um, I just you know there's there's not many phones that l- like this that has that has a a high that has you know just that has this many flagship quality specs at such a low price um you know I mean again it's the, the only thing that's not flagship is its processor but it could have been a dimensity 700 or a or a or a snapdragon um um uh, 690 or 480 and I mentioned those two because they're lower end but 5G equipped Snapdragon processors um you know and this Dimensity 810 is going to is, is is a lot more powerful than those um you know it's just um you know I, I mean you know if it was a 695 it might be a little it'll be a different tail but the 690 no the the, the 480 no but um yeah I mean it's just you know it's a fantastic Build quality. I mean, you know, uh, uh, the, the, this faux leather back. Um, you know, it's not plastic. Um, you know, and it's in it, and it, it's a Gorilla Glass five. You know, protected screen, curved AMOLED, ninety hertz, full HD plus six point six inches. Um, you know, um, it's only a mono speaker, but it sounds great for some reason. I don't know why. It's literally the best sounding mono speaker I've, I've, I've ever heard. Really, um, the the screen gets super bright. Um, in display fingerprint sensor that works fast. Um, you know, facial recognition. I mean, it, it's, you know, quick charge again. It's just, it, which is in the box, Samsung, Apple in the box. Um, and it's quick charge at that, you know, um, I mean, I'm just, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a, it's a flagship. It's almost a flagship phone and, but in, in nowhere near a flagship price, um, you know, uh, there there aren't there, there there's no phones. You know, besides the original, besides the original 2020 Moto Edge, not the Moto Edge Plus, but the original 2020 Moto Edge had a Snapdragon 765. It may have been a 765G. I don't remember which one, but 765 nonetheless, and it had and it had the curved panel, and it was the it was the last, possibly the first, even and possibly the only that 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 I can that I can even think of, a uh, phone that had a that had a a flagship you know panel like like that like this, but didn't have a flagship processor. Um, you know everything else about it was flagship except the processor, and of course that's what the plus was for. Uh, you know, if you remember back in 2020, it had the the plus had the Snapdragon 865, or if I'm not mistaken, um, you know. But um, yeah, I'm I'm thoroughly impressed with this phone. This is a uh, you know, bold. Y'all knocked it out of the park. I'm not even gonna say. I'm not even gonna call it blue. I'm gonna call it for what it is. This is this is their 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 premium brand, and they premium it is. Bold N2. I I remember the N1, and I loved it very much, and I'm glad to see them make a comeback and. Um, Man, this is just, uh, it's an awesome phone. I mean, I, I, I absolutely love it. 
Y'all check it out, man. To me, man, I'm sorry, but this is mid-range phone of the year. Sorry. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Peace out.